Hi, I'm Sarah Ingman Slaughter, and we're back with our virtual tour of the Visual Arts Exhibit for the two, uh, 2017 Fringe Prize. And as you can see, I'm next to Carrie Baxley's art. Carrie Baxley is not with me at this moment, so I'm just going to tell you what I know about this art. Um, Carrie Baxley is new with Fringe this year. We're also really excited to have Carrie with us. And um, she works with uh, oil paints, and she works directly with a palette knife not brushes. So that's the way you get these very expressive strokes that you're seeing. Um, she told me yesterday that for years she worked in a very controlled manner. She worked um, doing figures and portraits and stuff like that. So now a little bit later in life she's enjoying being more expressive with her art. <laughs> so we're happy to have her. Um, we have some more of her art here around the corner. Um, as you can see she works in a lot of pastels uh, doing um, I, I would say uh, roses and that sort of thing. Okay. Um, and here we have our Arts and Aging exhibit. Can you see that? <laughs> um, arts and Aging uh, seeks to focus on women as they become seniors and their journey through life. Um, every woman has a story to tell. Uh, so each of the feathers on the crow that you can see here uh, represents a different woman and her story, and that's going to be up for the entirety of Friend. We're excited to have them. And if you come down here before five, we have our mask making activity table. <laughs> As you can see, it's uh, pretty popular. It's a lot of fun, so uh, make sure to check that out. Um, behind me, you can see Susanna Bruns' art. Um, Susanna kind of works in a minim minimal type of style. Um, she describes her work as landscapes, but they're very minimal, very colorful, uh, and very excited. We're excited to have her. She's new this year as well. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> we have some more of her art around the corner here. Oh, and here's Susanna now. Susanna? Can you answer a couple of questions about your art, possibly? This is Susanna Brun, and she is our, a new artist, as I said, this year. And I told them that you do kind of minimalistic landscapes. Is there anything else that you can tell us about your art? Can you Well, um, yeah, my art is inspired by regionalism as well. So we have Kansas, I have things like Kansas wheat, Missouri red clay, um, ye yellow desert, Iowa field. Also, in addition, I also have here is my word art, which is a new series for me. And I use words like create and passion, um, truth, and inspire colors around them. So there are also color fields as well. Oh, very cool. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you for telling us a little bit about your art. Thank you. <laughs> oh, watch out. Okay. And here we have Carl D'Amico's art. He works in a variety of media. Um, he works in watercolors, inks, and um, as you can see, his work is kind of a stylized landscape um, kind of thing going. Uh, I have that Carl was, uh, here behind me. Let's see if he'll answer a little bit of, of questions about his art. <laughs> Would you mind answering a couple questions about your art Okay. <laughs> One second. Hi, Carl. Hi. Can you give us just a general overview of what you do and your process? Yeah. Well, my work is here, and I do uh, what I call detailed coloring. I use fine tip pens, and I do a high end detail on large, massive pictures like this that are 22 by 30 kind of work with the colors that I like, nothing too yeah. overt or shocking, anything like that. They're kind of the softer meadow. Um, what about your subject matter? My subject matter is uh, a lot of the things that I see out in Kansas, out in the uh, scenic areas of Kansas where they kind of have a lot of old buildings that have been uh, abandoned, uh, old farms that have been closed down and they just have the building and the silos. Yeah. This was uh, actually uh, an old building from out in uh, Ireland. It's called the Irish Cottage. And okay. I, I kind of 
steal some of my pictures from friends, their little 4 by 5 prints and things like that. <laughs> Very cool. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, and over here, um, we are coming up on Catherine Krause's Cityscapes. Uh, Catherine, <laughs> she, <laughs> as you can see, she, um, it's not just Cityscapes that she does. She uh, has a lot of paintings that are Kansas City inspired, but she also does these lovely floral paintings and stuff like that. Can you tell us a little bit about your art? Yeah, the sunflower is a little bit of a newer direction, kind of splitting up the composition throughout different canvases. Uh, it's kind of playful because the buyer or the audience can arrange it differently however they want, so it can take a life of its own. Um, and then I also like working with a lot of thick texture and color. Uh, bright color and impasto texture is kind of the theme of my newer direction. Thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> Catherine, this is uh, your third year with the Fringe, correct? Third year. And yeah. uh, uh, Catherine has ran, uh, sorry, can't talk. She has won our Fringe Prize competition for the last two years running. She is also competing again this year. Uh, I will show you um, all the artwork for Fringe Prize when we get to that exhibit. So, very exciting. Great, thank you. Okay, next we're going to take a look at Brian and Audrey Colley's art, which is right here. Um, Brian and Audrey Colley, they did an exhibit this year that is based on food and consumption of food. Um, Audrey, Brian, would you like to answer a couple of questions about your art? Okay. Sure. <laughs> okay, uh, can you tell us a little bit about your subject matter? Well, um, I like to eat. And uh, so, and I like food, so I decided to make art with my food. Because <laughs> um, we have these big boxes of recycling, and, and it's full of, it looked like a big box of art material to me, so I made art out of it. It's very cool. Brian um, works with the Fringe. He designs our programs and such, so he, he knows us pretty well around here. Um, can I get you to zoom in on one of his pieces of work? Uh, the Last Supper here. Um, this, these people are all people that work with Fringe. <laughs> so he kind of did a Last Supper themed thing, and all the posters on the wall are past plays that Brian has written and directed for, and produced? Produced. Produced for the Fringe Festival for the last seven, eight years, yeah. something like that. Yeah. Thirteen years, actually. Thirteen years, yeah. wow. So very cool. Uh -huh. yeah. All right. Uh, Frank Kauf, Kaufenberger says, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I was excited about this as soon as he told me about it. And um, I looked up the symbology of the Last Supper because I'm in here. You're in there. <laughs> yeah, and I'm Philip. <laughs> and uh, the lady in the center, that's Cheryl Kimmy. She uh, runs the Fringe. And uh, yeah, Brian, I'm are in you there too. There? I'm in there too. Oh, yeah. Brian is um, Judas, correct? I am Judas. <laughs> That is and, correct. I am yes. Is there anything to that? Uh, someone had to be the scapegoat, so <laughs> to avoid making enemies, I made it me. All right. <laughs> That's all. We still trust you. It's cool. <laughs> well, I don't know if you should trust me anymore. <laughs> all right. And um, if you turn around behind us here, we have Meg Young's art. Uh, Meg is new to uh, displaying with the visual arts for Fringe this year, although she isn't new to Fringe. She has volunteered with us for several years, and she's, um, she's worked very hard. She helps run Water Fire, which is another festival that we put on in October. And as you can see, her art is very colorful, and she kind of focuses on a floral theme. Um, so we're really excited to have her displaying with us this year. Now, if we come this way, um, we have Roger Sisner's photography. Roger? Would you like to answer a couple questions? Sure. Okay. Um, I see that you focus a lot on landscapes, and are, these are printed on metal, correct? A lot of them, the smaller ones are all pictures on metal. Um, I do a lot with pictures on aluminum, uh, and it justifies my places, my justifies me going to places I really want to go to take pictures. So, it works out well. The landscape's fun for me. And uh, this is Roger's second year with the Fringe. He's a returning. Fringe right. <laughs> champion, and as he tells me, he just retired, and he's very That's <laughs> excited. Right. That's right, two weeks ago. <laughs> yes, very excited to be entering retirement. So, exactly. more, more trips planning. Yeah, great. Well, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we're just going to go around the corner here. Okay, so right here, 
We have Deborah Kai's photography. Um, Deborah, unfortunately, is not here today, but uh, she does. Um, she experiments with different materials in her kitchen for the most part to produce uh, wonderful photography, and I believe these are printed on glass. So we're really excited to have her. This is her first year with the fringe. And over here to my right, we have Mark Walter of Mark Douglas Walter Fine Art. Hi, Mark. Yeah. As you can see, Mark does uh, portraits of famous people. I'm sure you recognize <laughs> several of these. Yeah. Uh, Mark, can you tell us a little bit about your portraiture? Yeah, I basically did these, just kind of take a little journey back into my childhood and, and uh, just experience some of those good feelings again. Some of them weren't actually from entertainment, some of them were more from history, just people I felt really made contributions to society and humanity. Yeah. So it was a fun journey just to kind of reintroduce myself to some people in the past and hopefully bring back and reintroduce them basically to the people today. So uh, we're really excited to have Mark with us this year. This is his first year with Fringe. Mark, do you have a favorite portrait? Out of um, these? I think I like John Wayne. Oh, probably. John Wayne, yes. Yeah, just uh, yeah. kind of a classic American icon. Very cool. We'll see his John Wayne painting here shortly. It's part of our Fringe Prize exhibit. So we'll save that for last, okay? All right. All right. Cool. Um, over here, we have uh, Sandy Woodson's photography. Sandy Woodson is also uh, one of our volunteers. She runs Teen Fringe. So we're excited to have her with us this year. Um, Sandy does uh, photography like... Um, I'm not sure how to describe it, but she went to Rome this year, and uh, she, while well, she went to a lot of the art museums, a lot of the exhibits, she was much more fascinated with the graffiti that she found on Roman streets. So as you can see, this is the result of that trip, so we're excited to have this here. So if we go around the corner, we have uh, Spencer Albertson. Spencer Albertson is another returning artist with Fringe this year, and uh, he does these wonderful expressionist colorful portraits of uh, people he knows and uh, we're real excited to have him and as you can see some of these I I know you don't know Spencer but some of these are self portraits so this one here this is Spencer so I thought that was pretty cool and behind you this is Kara Price Kara is new to Fringe and the Kansas City area <laughs> this year. She just moved here last year, so uh, she's kind of getting used to the Kansas City art scene, um, and we're glad to have her this year. These are um, some lovely watercolors that she did specifically for Fringe, and as you can see, she's very expression, um, expressionful, I don't think that's a word, <laughs> with her art, so we're excited to have her. Okay, so let's turn around and go look at these portraits over here. Um, this is Don Kelly's photography. Um, she is the model in the portrait, and uh, she modeled different outfit, outfits from several different eras and uh, did some dancing. She's from San Francisco, so she used to be a dancer. And um, she felt like this really expressed her feelings for friends. She's been a volunteer with us for several years. And next we have Arthur Green. Arthur Green does these uh, lovely ceramic sculptures. Come on, take a closer look. You can really see some detail, I can hear. And he's new to Fringe this year as well. Um, as you can see, he also has some of his own poetry. Um, he writes his own poetry to go with each sculpture. It really adds a level of story to each sculpture, and we're happy to have him. Now over here we have Sharon Smith. Sharon, uh, <laughs> Sharon is a Kansas City native and she uses Kansas City as inspiration for her paintings and prints. Um, she uses um, jazz, uh, lights, all the colorful things that you associate with Kansas City. And uh, she, we're happy to have her. This is her third year with French. And let's go around the corner over here. Okay, so first, here we have Vanya Soto's art. Uh, Vanya Soto is of Hispanic heritage, and she uses that to inform her art. And as you can see, it's very bright, it's very colorful. Um, she, uh, not here, but some of the stuff she does is uh, self-portraiture. And um, she just, she's a very expressive kind of person. And behind you here, 
Uh, this is my art. <laughs> Uh, I display with the fringe as well, and uh, these are all uh, models that have modeled for me in the past, and my theme this year, um, I wanted to go with a universal theme of uh, unification, because I feel like right now, in this time and place, we're feeling very divided as a people, so I wanted to kind of express that we are all made of star stuff, and we are all human. Okay, right here we have Sherry Sow's work. Sherry? Would you like to answer a couple questions about your work real quick? For your social... <laughs> okay. Um, as you can see, Sherry uh, is very, very, very colorful with her work, right? Yes. Can you tell me a little bit about it? Um, my work is typically in acrylic, and I love to use bright colors that kind of lifts the spirits. And I always incorporate little, what I call monsters, which is... There's a story behind this guy, and he's actually created from a dab of paint. Oh, okay. So his name right. is Dabby, and he usually comes in rainbow colors, and uh -huh. he kind of emerges out of different situations <laughs> that are usually typically happy. And All right. He has a little bit of a candy habit, habit, so you'll usually see him in a series called Candy Shop, which I have one of the series pieces here. And you'll see him in my uh, dreams from when I was little, <laughs> where I would wake up and I would say, Mommy, there's a monster under my bed. Oh, no. <laughs> so, Daddy is here, and they, my mom took so long to get to my room that Daddy had a family, <laughs> and he's now eating the, my Tootsie Roll Pops, and he's raising a family under my bed. Oh, that's really cool. Thank that's you. really cool. Thank you. Sure. And um, what about these pieces over here? These uh, are also Sherry's work. And these are resin, correct? Yes. yes, these are resin and enamel and acrylic. And this is a series where I incorporate a lot of texture and glass. And um, I have a series of mosaics, which uh, I bought one of my pieces and another piece from my series of mosaics, and these are usually a uh, nature theme or city theme from, you know, here, Kansas City. Uh, this is a piece in resin and it's a mosaic, but this is a handmade mosaic. Okay. This is made from clay and the clay is allowed to dry and it makes its own tessera by drying naturally. Oh. So then I just go in piece by piece and paint on separate colors and I overlay a 24 karat gold overlay and then I pour the resin and it makes that. Wow, that's really cool. Thank you. Thank you for talking about your art. Absolutely. Okay, next we have Jessica Johnston, who is also a new uh, artist with Fringe this year. Uh, she, she displayed with our Inspire show this spring, and she won the public vote um, with one of her uh, Bassettown portraits. As you can see, that's one of her favorite subject matters. And she's very, very colorful with her Basset hounds, and they have such expressive eyes. And um, this is one of my favorite pieces, I think. Over here and around the corner, we have our Alzheimer's um, Association exhibit. Each piece in this exhibit was made by a different artist who has been stricken by Alzheimer's. So even though the memories fade, the artistic and the creativity, that all remains. Um, if you'd like to take a trip with me to take a look at some of these uh, lovely pieces around the corner here. <laughs> these are all done in watercolors and they hold workshops and they find that the uh, expression, the creative expression helps them uh, to maybe remember a little bit more than they did. So, we're excited to have them this year. And behind you here we have Craig Mill Drexler and his blacklight work. Um, he works in neon paints and uh, a lot of his works, as you can see on the outside, are still very, very, very colorful. Um, but then you enter his black light room here. Hi, Hi Craig. Hi. You want to come in your black light room? Yeah. Oh, okay. Probably turn your light off if you like when you come on in. Welcome to Power and Black Light Art. And then you come into his black light room and you can see that they look completely different under the black light. Yeah, and this is all planned, correct? To a certain extent? All planned? Well, you know, some of the effects that you Absolutely. Get. Absolutely, yeah. Yep. Paint with a purpose. Yeah. Yep. But it's random, too. <laughs> you just never know what's going to happen as the paint dries and separates and pulls apart. Mm -hmm. So you get a different effect all the time. You can never have two of the same. It's impossible. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, Craig, um, he shows all over the city. 
correct? And yep. um, into Nelson. And, to Nelson. Yeah, and he First showed at a artist. show in Rome, correct? Was it uh, Rome? Genoa. Genoa, Genoa, Italy last year. Mm -hmm. Yep. Black yeah. Light Art's really big in Italy. And uh, I like to go there and show. That's fun. Right. <laughs> Good time. Yeah, I bet it was. But I, I love Union Station. I mean, this is probably the most beautiful venue to do a show in. It's amazing. Well, thank here. you. Yeah. Thank you. And this is Craig's second year with the French. Love it. So yeah. Sarah does a great job with the French. She's an awesome boss. She's so good. <laughs> Spoils us rotten. I, I, I do. She does. She does. She really does. Yep. It's awesome. You, you get away with murder, don't you? I do get away with murder. Yeah, no, no, not really. When you're an artist, that's a free pass. And like, <laughs> great. Everyone expects you to be an idiot, so it works. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks. Well, thank you. You look great under black light, too. Your hair is awesome. Well, thanks. Yeah, that's wild. Yeah, I bet this is glowing over here. Right? It is way glowing. Yep. All right. All right, thank you. Cool, cool. Right. You'd like to follow me out? It's kind of blinding when you come out of there. And cooler. <laughs> yes. It always feels comfortable. Okay. And over here we have Ryan Sykes art. Um, this is Ryan's first year with the Fringe. Hi, Ryan. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm great. Yeah. Um, your work is super colorful and um, it looks like you have a very um, kind of immediate kind of style. Can you tell yeah. us a little bit about it? Absolutely. Well, I try to include sometimes my spiritual life and uh, my uh, aesthetic life into my work. So I mostly just paint what I feel or, um, you know, just whatever music's playing, I'll sometimes just feel the music. Very cool. So these are musically inspired? Sometimes, yes, they are. Absolutely. Okay. All right. Um, so what were you listening to for, like, this one? That one, you know, I don't know. I think I was listening to opera for that one. <laughs> <laughs> Possibly. Or, no, you know, I was actually listening to a documentary that day. Okay. <laughs> Okay. I, I love it. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you for talking about your art. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, and over here we have Daniel ba ba Daniel Baxley and his uh, abstract expressionism art. Um, he works a lot with waves. Um, I believe he used sound waves as kind of an inspiration for his art. So his work, I believe, is also musically ex inspired. Um, you can see a little bit... Uh, some different stuff, some more experiments over here. Um, Daniel, it's his first year with the Fringe. We're excited to have him. And then around the corner, we have Steve Carroll. Hi, Steve. Hi, how are you? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? Good. Um, Steve um, incorporates text and photography and also painting, painting and sometimes even a slinky <laughs> into his work. And uh, can you tell us a little bit about your subject matter? Well, my show here at the Fringe this year is called Thoughts on Politics, Religion, and Science. <laughs> so, uh, it's just to make people think. Okay. And maybe be a little controversial, <laughs> if I can. Um, we're the Fringe Festival, for co so controversy is just fine. I'm hoping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, can you zoom in on some of these so we can see the text? Anything else you'd like to uh, comment about? I mean, what do you think of the show this year? It's great. I love the space. You get a lot of uh, people. Come on by. <laughs> it's right in the middle of everything. Okay. Plenty of parking. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you. Thank you. All right. Okay. Yeah. So uh, last but not least, I'd like to introduce you all to our Fringe Prize competition. So that is uh, the gooey center of our Fringe Visual Arts exhibit. Our French Prize competition takes place during the entire two weeks of the exhibit, and it's all based on public vote. So if you'd like to follow me in here, this entire center gallery is French Prize, okay? Many of our artists have entered uh, one piece that you can come in and vote for your favorite or favorites among the entries. You can vote for uh, as many artists as you want, but you can only vote for each artist once. And then at the end of the two weeks, whoever has the most votes wins our fabulous Fringe Prize, which is uh, gift certificates, tickets, and all sorts of stuff. It's worth over $500, so make sure to come down here and support your favorite artist. 
Um, if you'd like to take a spin around and take a look at some of our entries, um, I think we have some really good ones this year. Thank you. Um, thank you so much. Um, I'd like to invite you all to our Iron Artist competition next Saturday evening. Uh, that's a different competition from the French Prize, and that's an hour-long competition where 10 of our artists have an hour to create something. They don't know what beforehand. Um, we provide them all materials plus one secret ingredient that they have to use, and they don't know beforehand. So that takes place at 7 p.m. at the... Um, Haverty Family Yard Beer Tent, uh, sponsored by Schlafly. So make sure to come out to that. We'll all be there. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much for taking this virtual tour with us. We're real excited. Thank you.